Welcome back to Tubes, Tooty, channel update, off the back of the booty, so yeah, we're two beers in, yeah, second, this is the second one to be fair, not not the third one, the second beer, should be alright, I've changed the game, because that career crisis is do my nutting, so this is basically um, two purchases, one off of Fanatuba, one off of Galaxy Sega, and then a Brief chat about Doncaster and just the grabs I've got from it. I'm not going to spend too long on Donny because um, obviously I was there stalling out. So, you know, probably better for the guys that were buying to give their views, which I'm be interested to sort of see. So, anyway, let's crack on because we may have to switch to Daz Cam if this battery doesn't last. So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave. I've got a package which I haven't opened. I'm going to do live unboxing. So I'm going to do this one first, which is the only charity shop boy. Buy, boy, buy. Um, I ummed and ahed a little bit and I went back and I got a fucking right deal on it. So on Friday, because obviously I was doing Doncaster Saturday, so fuck, I haven't got any change. I need to nip up to the bank just to get like just 15 quid shrapnel, just in pound coins, just in case. And as you do, oh, I've looked at the charity shops. Um, and I would have walked past this if it hadn't been for the power supply. I'm not going to show you. I've got the power supply there. Them's that, when you see it, you'll, everyone that's seen these will know how um, uh, unique and uh, strikingly obvious the power supplies are. And it was in like his cabinet. And this was covered in like a, uh, a cloth. Whatever, I don't know why. Um, so I've seen this power supply and I, was, and I looked at the power supply. I said, oh, have you got the thing to that? He said, yeah, it's underneath here. It's in like, like a glass cabinet thing and, and, put, and foiled it. It was there. And there was like a little tag attached to the to the cover. I said, how much is it? And he turned it over and it's 80 quid. He went, well, oh, that's not right. He goes, it's 40. I thought, oh, okay. And I thought there would be other stuff with it. I said, oh, is there any games? Is there any, like, the, the AV leads? You know, everything counts. I said, no, it's just that. It's like, it won't work. I was making a bit of a meal out of it. It won't work about the AV lead. Well, oh, that's, that's what we've got. So I anyway, walked around the, the, the rest of the shop. I had a look round. I was thinking to myself, 40 quid. Can't. I needed the money for Doncaster. I ain't got 40 quid just to try and wing it on this. I know they've gone up. They've gone up massively in, in price. I don't know if it works. I haven't tested it yet because I haven't had time to have a fucking shit, let alone do anything else. Um, so I said, I went around the shop, came back, and I said to the chap about it again. He's an alright guy. He's not one of the more senior ones there, so maybe that's why he did me a steal. He probably got in trouble for it. I said, oh, would you do 20? He's like, oh, I don't know. I was like, look, there's no there's no video lead, so it's just, it's just going to go, you know, plug it in, it's just going to sit there, and I've got to buy a video lead. So it might even work. It's that even like, oh, go on then, 20 quid. So for 20 quid, <laughs> I've got me an Amiga A500 Plus. And it's slightly yellowed. Well, I, didn't, I haven't checked the, the, the things. So these should have... I think it's already built in, so you still got the expansion slot with a bit of fucking thing in there. So in your, in your normal 500s, you'd have a memory there, which would make it a 500 plus, which is one meg. So this is one meg already, if you like. Um, so yeah, I got it for 20 quid. I don't know if it works. They, they are susceptible to the battery leak. I mean, me and Rob are speaking about it uh, on Saturday. But 20 quid, man. It has been opened because that's been sealed. But it could have been opened for a myriad of reasons. I remember my mate John on the NS500, what used to happen because the joystick ports were always plugging in out the mouse and the joystick. It pushed the pins too far in into the back and it stopped responding. But yeah, 20 quid. It's got to be like 80 quid in that or something. I'd, I'd, if it, if it works straight off the bat, if the drive works, maybe more. I think faulty the fucking a good few quid. So, if anyone's interested in A500 Plus, let me know. I'll be happy to, you know, do your deal. And no, not for 25 quid. Them that would be interested would probably know its value. So I ain't tested it, so I don't know. Could not fucking work. Right, so that's that. Then next, 
So from uh, Galaxy Sega, I bought this from Daniel Willis. He had. Oh, he had three. He had three Mega CD games. I think he was trying to sell them as a bundle. Yeah, because he had um, Final Fight. Was it Sonic CD? And this game. This fucking hangnail. I said, oh, if you split, I'll be interested in this game. He went, yeah, no problem, Stu. He goes, I'm sure he said 10 quid. I'm going to think about, wait, was it 10 quid all in? Was it a couple of quid per? I can't remember now. It weren't much. I when I looked at the prices, because obviously I was waiting for him to come back, I when I looked at the prices, um, CX haven't got it in. Um, but when I looked on the eBay, the prices f like fluctuate from a little bit less, a uh, little bit more than what I paid <clears throat> to like double and then some from what I paid so I'm like the only thing with it is it hasn't got a case fucking well about that so for, and do you know what the guy's an absolute ledge he sent me a Brucey bonus and I messaged him back and said man you must be psychic I actually need the manual for this because I think the disc's fucked yeah disc's fucked you can see straight through it so he sent me Road Avenger, the disc's absolutely mullered, right, which is why he's probably sent me it, but that's not the thing. I've got the manual. So you may or may not remember, I don't know if you can see it, here. No, just there, Mega CD, there you go, just see it there, Mega CD 2. So I've got Road Avenger off somewhere else, I did a thing, I've been missing the manual, so now I've got the manual for that. How fortuitous. Excellente. Uh, so yeah, that was like a Brucey bonus, which is great. So the game I bought, which you're not going to be able to see because it's all in bits, is basically Soul Star on the Mega CD. <clears throat> and he sent it in this like Family Guy thing, which is great, great way to pack it. Got everything in there, all the backs, the fronts. That's Road Avenger. <clears throat> so that is absolutely sweet as. And if you watched my car boot video before, that's what uh, Captain. Corelli's mandolin that is going in that. So, as I say, for 50p, it's a fucking no brainer. So, I'm well happy with that. Just picking up these, these odds, you know. So, this is kind of like um, I thought it was more of a, a shooter shooter, but it's like a first person. The battery's going now. Let's switch to Daz Cam. Right, we're back. Daz Cam. I did notice the last time I did this for the Blackpool stuff. It took a while, it was almost like the explosion. I've just tried to use the white balance. Um, with my old camera, I just put a bit of white card up and it auto adjust. So I'm, I think it's maybe overexposed or it may be underexposed. So I do apologise. I can't seem to get it to, to sink into the colour right. So you have to bear with. I'll, I'll probably change like Alice in, uh, not Alice in Wonderland, um, Wizard of Oz. You know, where she goes from black and white to colour. Uh, yeah, you, you're not interested in looking, you're only interested in listening to my. Dulcet tones. Right, moving swiftly on. We have got a trade, uh, not a trade, a purchase off a fellow tuber. I'll show you the book. I'll show you that. <laughs> I don't know what I nearly forgot I had this. That sounds terrible. I've had it since the beginning of the last week. So I'm going to do I'm doing an unboxing, I'm going to do a live, like, you know, live video, the be unboxing. Uh, because everything has just gone on, um, and it got buried into stuff that I was sorting out for Doncaster. I just, uh, until I just sorted the room out to do the video, I was like, fucking hell, I forgot I had that. So there's extra games I have uh, purchased off a certain tuber. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot I had. Um... There's a lot of stamps on it, so those that are more fluent in uh, certain European languages may be able to discern where this has come from. For those that might not, I shall reveal the name of Zichuba, which is another than Razamataz Raz, Raza, Razamus, Rasputin, Raz who doesn't know he's got a fuse box. <laughs> Every size of his cracking. Oh, Raz cracks you up. Hopefully, um, Raz will be here um, 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 in October for Manchester Play Expo. 
You know what? It's two months away. It's all it is. Two months. Fucking hell. With me and Lewis speaking, I think some of these events, they're, they're too condensed, don't they? Um, you can't fucking take a shit without one appearing. I feel sorry for the guys down south because we had fucking loads and they're like, they have one, don't they? They're like, London Comic Con and then the uh, the video you know, the, the video game market, that's it. Anyway, any roads up. I do feel bigger in this camera, I don't know what it is, I think it's just the exposure, or the peripheral view larger. Uh, right, so from Raz, from my, ma my man, the main man Raza. We can review Spider-Man. Homecoming in Swedish. Yeah, that says that uh, uh, Sweden is a rape capital. No, I'm joking. I know. No. Um, Raz loves Sweden and I uh, don't blame him. Right. Did I buy all these? <laughs> I can't remember what I bought now. I'm not sure if Raz is chucked in a freebie. I don't know. So. Razzle Dazzle, Razzle Dazzle, Razzle Dazzle, he was, um, he's having a rethink, he's having a reshuffle, the um, forever word, focus, I, I, I don't think he's that, I think he's just basically running out of space, realising actually, you know what, I don't play that, I've got something stuck to me, that's what I'm doing. I don't play this, I don't play that, I've got no interest in this, I've got no interest in that, I want to concentrate on X, Y, and Z. You know, you've all got to do it, I do it, I've, I've, you know, I've called, I've trimmed collections, I've got rid of old collections, Xbox, you know, has, all, has gone in favour of something else. And I've mentioned this before, I think that's a natural progression, I think as a collector, uh, as a, maybe as a game, I don't know, are the two the same, I don't know, the unique to each other, I don't know. But as a collector, um, I think you need to find your groove, when you find your groove, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Harry? So anyway, Raz is kind of doing that. And Raz had a very... Um, I don't know what the word was. I was going to say eclectic, but it wasn't. He, he was very targeted. He had a lot of... The, had, he probably still has got a lot of uh, RPGs. And some of the very sort of unique titles. That he wouldn't... You know, he was very good at... And he is very good at finding them. Uh God, ben, it's not fucking bomb proof this is for us. But he's been calling off. He's done it by generation. I'm not sure about this camera. I think the, the colour's all fucked. So he's doing a video anyway. I think he titled it. I can't remember. It's sixth generation or something. It doesn't actually say in it that he's getting rid of stuff. But you have to watch the video. And I was like, okay, well, I'm interested in X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C. He cut me a massive deal. Really looked after me. Um, fucking hell, Raz. Jesus fucking wept. Ugh. Right. There's one in here that I'm not sure I even asked for. That one I know of. That one definitely. I can't remember if he's, I think he might have chucked me in a freebie. The little bugger. That means, if that's the case, I'll, I'll have to go back and review it. I may be in Raz's pocket, I may not be. Right. So, all the way from Sweden, we have, I think it's this one, I can't, I may have asked for this, because I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't got it. In awesome condition, all PS2 these are, Silent Hill Origins. Even though I hate horrors, that's... <laughs> Because I have to have it. I have to have it. And he was, he, he was after money. Yeah, if you can't have a tube out. And he knows they're going to a good home. These ain't these ain't gonna be flipped. Look, see that's meant to be white, that looks yellow to me. This this is there. Yeah, the the colour balance is fucking shot on it. This one is uh, very akin to Resident Evil. I'm sure he's telling me this. I don't think it's very expensive. 
because I thought it was only these three. I'm, I think he, he might chuck Silent Hill in. I can't remember. Uh, this this one is not one that pops up very often either. It's Curse the Eye of Isis. I thought Mortal Kombat 2 might have had some uh, actual fight in it. All complete. Here's a new case. There's a crack in the case. But PS2 case is not a problem. I'm guessing that's been done in transit because that looks new. That definitely looks new. It's like an impact, an impact crack. It is because you can see it's gone through. Yeah, bastards, fucking motherfuckers, man. Luckily, you can't see it from that side. Yeah, it's an impact. It's just like, boom. This must have been on the top. I took the brunt of it. Um, <clears throat> one that I knew was missing the manual. And surprisingly, it is sought after, or just rare, or whatever. It is the. Um, Still here. <laughs> I think I think I'm sure it's a basic port of the Super Nintendo game, which is Cybernator or Assault Suit Vulcan. And it's called Assault Suit Vulcan on the PS2. This colour's fox. It's, it's all yellow. I can see it. Uh, it is missing the Manuel, which I knew about anyway. But it's basically Cybernator. And I've got Cybernator on the snares, and I've got um, the Salt Suit, Suit Vulcan on the Super Famicom. I look like I've got jaundice. I probably should have jaundice to not be able to drink. I don't drink spirits, I don't do spirits. Unless I'm really, really badly drunk. Then it's then too far gone, then I never care. And the real fucking, the big hitter. I think even Raz was surprised. I, I, I don't know. I was just... Um, I gave him a list of games I didn't have, essentially. And he'd come back and he went, holy shit, because I didn't know that one had gone up that much. I don't know a great deal about it other than it's a shooter. <coughs> but it's one of these weird... It's against a 505 Street. That's 505 Street. Yeah, it's definitely yellow. Look, that's a white. That looks yellow to me. Um... This is 505 Street, and it is none other than Homura, and I'm not sure. So you look at that, you think it's like some sort of side-scrolling, third-person, you know, or, or uh, third-person, uh, not third-person, you know, over the shoulder. Yeah, third-person, first-person, third-person, kind of beat them up, smash them up, or side-scrolling platformer, but it's not. It's a fucking shooter. And I don't know what it it's gonna be like. Um, Light Force, but it has lots of free Charlie's Angels on the front, and that that's uh, another shooter. It's gonna be something. It's probably like fucking Tatsujin or something. I can't think what it is. Someone will tell me. Someone's probably saying, "Stu, you a twerk." It's just, it's just shoot em up game. Like, I know all the shooters. I don't know all the shooters. I'm not a shooter fan. Well, I'm playing on, but I'm not like a, you know, a fucking shooter nut. I couldn't tell you. Like, I'm looking from a screenshot and say, oh yeah, that's X, Y, or Z game. I don't know. But yeah, Homura. It may, it, may, it may actually be its own game. So perhaps it is just what it is. But a lot of them 505 Street ones are just rebadged arcade shooters, didn't they? Mobile Light Force. That's it. That's what it's called. What was that? That was um, like the witches one, wasn't it? The girls and the, on the broomsticks and that. No one cares, do. No one cares. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Donny, Donny Doom, the mighty. Don of the caster. So Lizard Retro was in full effect, although slightly limping along. <laughs> um, I hope everyone had a good time anyway, and they enjoyed the day. I was there, 
and massive huge thanks goes out to Rob uh, absolute ledge he came with me and James last year purely like on a flyer and I think he was surprised at how well he did last year so it's James but Sammy James is no longer in the UK the little bastards living in Japan living the dream and more power to your buddy honestly um, I, I, it's my fucking goal in life. I always has been. I mentioned to every every man his dog ever speak. I told you this before as well, James. Ever since I was a, like 13, 14 year old, I, I, there's like some sort of like diary used to have to keep at school. I always said I always wanted to visit Japan, and I still do. So I keep that sofa spare. I've got to stop spending money. That's all. So anyway. James is, is uh, over in Japan now. So, Rob, I sort of said, look, yeah, Rob, are you interested in stalling out with me? I thought, yeah, yeah, love it, man. Well, let's do it. Uh, Rob was very clever. The last one we did, he, he I think he, he sort of like tested the water, is probably the best word. And he had some, some items that he, he can create, um, which are absolutely superb. And I think he said he sold them, like, and it, he was surprised how, how well they sold. They're basically like, shelf edging. Sorry about that. Shelf edging strips. I don't know what is it is. It not pers perspex? No, not. I don't know what it is. It's like a perspexy type material. Dead light. You can like Velcro it, and you put you edge it on to shelving unit. So say here, where you can see, you have it across there. It's a Mega Drive, or you can put any graphic on it at all. And my God, fucking hell. I just said to him, I said, do you know what? Next time, we'll just forget selling anything else. We'll just fucking sell your your sign things. Because Jesus Christ, he, he, he couldn't have made enough of them. Boom, 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 boom. Four here, two there, fucking six, eight, ten. No, I think eight was the most someone bought. And obviously some of the other lads come up afterwards and they're like, oh. And Daz made a good comment, you know. Sort of said, oh, if you do a Famicom one, and, and we had other people afterwards saying, oh, can you do Neo Geo? Can you do NES? Can you do Game Boy? So I'll tell you what, no one can touch him in terms of pricing. Five pound, five pound. I tell you, you, you couldn't, you couldn't make them for that. So, yeah, massive thanks to Rob. Great, lad, always a great time with Rob. That's been fits and giggles sometimes. But yeah, it's a long day as well. I mean, I was up at four. Uh, I think Rob was that excited. I'm sure he said he only had an hour of sleep. Bless him. Because it just it gets you like that. I wasn't, even before I'd go, sort of gone, if that makes sense, I wasn't overly confident because, to be honest, lads, and I said this to the guys there, lad, lads, lads and lads everywhere else, a lot of, for me, to, um, yesterday was just trying to get rid of the, some of the stuff. And I had a lot of peripheral stuff. You know, um, controllers guns but it was just I think it was a different mark it was a different clientele because when I stood in February March this year people going through your the boxes they love having rummage you know, and finding stuff uh, Rob had a bargain bin and no one goes no one went in it hardly it was, it was weird and I think because it's the summer I think it, it, a lot of people probably weren't there they're on holiday they haven't have any money because they're saving for holidays or whatever um, so I don't think it's the right time. I think the the February March one's about right because a lot of people have got over Christmas. They've got a little bit more spare cash. Um, but again, this comes back to what me and Lewis are speaking about. I think they've got to be, he's got to be very careful to just kind of saturate the fucking the market. And you're you're gonna you're gonna dilute it all down. <clears throat> so you know instead of having like I don't know four thousand people come through on an event, you're gonna have two. And then the other two will come to the next one. But for vendors, you know, sort of trying to earn a, you know, get rid of duplicates and earn a bit of money, you get less footfall. Um, so some things, <laughs> it was weird because there were some things that I had or didn't have enough of last time that I had more of this time. So uh, I had a lot more, I had a couple more N64s and more consoles. Um, but this time, no one, uh, hardly any sold. And the same with everybody else I spoke to. Um, Dana, Dana Meddings, Dana, Dane Star, 852565, I don't know, why put numbers in your name anyway? Um, he's always a good laugh as well, we all just take the piss out of each other. He was exactly the same as me, he goes, 
because last time I was, I was selling them like like that, but no one was no one was buying. Um, Pokemon cards were going well, so we had a, so it was basically Rich King Retro, myself and Rob, uh, Rob and myself, uh, and then we had Lewis, uh, Hello Cool Games with Mandy, Manda and, um, but yeah, we were all pretty much. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just people have already bought them before. Maybe I don't know. Rich did well on his Pokemon cards. I mentioned Pokemon cards in my um, my car book vid. But I, I, I did know. The weird thing was, I think because I wasn't selling big ticket items like you know your Game Cubes, your N64s, um, you know PlayStation ones. I mean, I had a couple of Wii's. I sold all the Wii's last time. I had a few more Wii's. No one was interested in them. Um, it just felt like I weren't. And to be honest, the out, the overall sort of monetary value was less than half of what I've got previously. I think that was for a lot of people. It was all, especially some of the smaller, like indie, indie. Yeah, not we don't do it professionally. It just, just shit that we found that we don't need. That we've already got. It's worth a few quid. Um, and I think a lot of us were just in that same boat. I think it's just the timing. I think the summer is not the best time to do to do one of these things. Um, I just hope it's, it's not being driven, you know, by the means like financial, because it's just going to ruin it. It really will ruin it, and people don't look, won't look forward to it as much as well. You know, if you have too many, too many stuff, like, things like this, you don't look forward to them. Uh, like as I said, I said, oh, we've got Manchester in two months. You know, I'm thinking, oh, it's fucking two months. I've got to save up some money. You don't want that. I look forward to it. You just want to be, you know, something to look forward to. So I haven't really got anything to say about the event, as in like the who, what's, where's, or why's. Uh, I'm not going to go into who was there or met because I so said I didn't. I met some of the, the guys, but I can't really speak to people too much because I've got a man of stall. Notable mentions, people I haven't met before or that travelled uh, you know, a fair old lick, was a London contingent. So we had a Lee, Retro Chef Lee, nice to see him. Finally turned up Lee. <laughs> so Lee's, Lee has been like, he's always like, oh, I'm going to come to this, I'm going to come to that, and he never turns up. I think he's been to one event, I think it was Black uh, Manchester about three years ago. He's like, well, you pushed him a ball. That's why. Uh, like I say, no pun intended. Just, 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 just ribbing you. Um, and he come up with Pete, Pete Love, Mr. Love. Uh, I see him more than I see my wife now. And Scott, take a Saturn lad. Scott never met Scott before. Really nice to meet him. And he, he, he bought my Sega, uh, my Sega, uh, my Sega Dreamcast Wii off for me. So uh, yeah, thanks. That he goes, ooh. Did you buy it for 50p? I said, no, I didn't. I, did, I did, bought it in the bulk. The bulk deal. I've, I've had it oh, two years or something like that. But I called a lot of my Dreamcast stuff off, so I, I don't... Yeah, I've got no need for it. I've got the Sega Saturn wheels. I kept them. Um, yeah, so nice, great to finally meet Scott. As I did, when we were chatting, uh, I messaged you that, mate. I did sort of say, if you hang around towards the end, it's, it's a lot more quiet and it's easy to, to, to chat to people. Early doors got no chance. To be honest, even then it was early doors. It was it was busy enough, but you could, I could see straight away um, it wasn't as busy. Uh, then when I seen Daz, Jay, and Shocks and Craig, Craig's here again. Even they said like before the previous ones, it'd been, it'd been. I mean, I don't know what it's. I've never been as a buyer. So it, it like swirled around. It was at the door, so it was only halfway. So yeah, I got rid of some stuff that I didn't need that I already had. The duplicates, it's put some money in the coffers, so I can't moan. I say I can't moan. And I've got some nice bits, I've got some really cracking bits, all for the collection. <sighs> Spending money that I didn't, that I haven't earned. But I ain't got a fucking clue where I've got to now. This camera's pissing me off. It's a memory card full, auto powering off, yada yada yada. I ain't got a scoop. 30 odd minutes, um, I don't know where I've got to. Okay, stick off Alan. Ten pound. George, it was broken. Looked on YouTube for any way to sort of fix it. Because when I looked at it, it was just like I, don't, I can't understand how it's got to this where it is. Um, so I've basically had to sort of reverse engineer what it's all its um, structure. Is that the right word? Because it just didn't look right. Uh, I should have videoed it because it's absolutely weird. It's like how the fuck has it even got? Because 
physically it couldn't have happened. Um, I may take it apart and show you at some point because it was really, really weird. And I think the only way I, I can um, guess how it's happened is that there's been a blunt force um, sort of whack or what, I don't know, something's fell on top of the stick that's pushed it down. Because essentially it's like a, a, a link so that the top bit's smaller than the other way it sits like a recess where the stick ro rotates. And somehow that, cause it's like a curved bowl that sits in it with a stick put, and that dropped below the, the curve, so there's like a wider neck to it. Does that make even make any sense for anybody? Um, and it's like this. I don't, know, I don't know how it's happened. So I suspect it ought to be smashed and cracked and, you know, broken where obviously the force had sort of split it open. There's nothing. So I had to literally un, unpick it all, uh, take it all to pieces. Uh, and then all it was was like a little brass C clasp that sits above a, a nut. You had to pop that open, and the whole shaft then slides through. And I could rebuild it back from the front and lock it all in. So now, I don't, Alan doesn't watch him, does not But them that seen that Doncaster, you could hear it like clunking around. No, it's, it's fine. I haven't tested it, I should test it, but it's fine. So for tenner, half an hour, you know, well, half an hour's work, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. For no, in future, it's fine. But yeah, got myself a Hori PlayStation Arcade for a tenner. Can't be bad, can it? This video's going to be a right old pig style. Right, off Rob. He's an absolute ledge, he really is. He sort of said to me, he goes, oh, I've got some, um, some Game Gear games. I said, I oh, know you collect them, what you do? Oh shit, no, fuck, sorry. Back to Rob in a minute. I need to do this one. This this was from, and I forgot his name now. Watches YouTube. There's loads of guys that you watch YouTube. Uh, oh shit, what's the other lad's name who come over? I was working with Retro Chris. Uh, I had a good, good chat with him, nice, nice lad. Bought a few bits off me. Um, they had like turtles and stuff like that. I forget your name. I'm, you, until I know people enough, I, I, I'm usually quite. I know faces, um, but sometimes I struggle with names, especially if I don't sort of properly know your name. If that makes sense, I don't know. Um, so people say, oh, I watch you on YouTube, and that's it. Um, so it's good to meet him. But this guy, I can't remember his name now. I feel so bad. I'm chatting, and he sort of said, oh. Fucking hell, what's his name? Oh, shit. I'll put it down here and I'll link him down below. Anyway, he's, he's like his, uh, his N64. And it's not any box stuff that you need. And the thing is, I don't know what st stuff I've got box that's not box until I see it. It sounds weird and it sounds daft. But I couldn't really list off. Um, but he said, look, look, I've got these two. Are these any good to you? Um, I, I, my message was play, playing up and I couldn't see pictures properly. And I had to go back. I think I went on to. Um, I think I used a different browser. I think I used Firefox. I could see them then. I said, "Oh yeah, I'm interested in them." So I'll bring them to Doncaster because um, I wasn't really. I wasn't in the buying thing. I wasn't buying everything, you know, because obviously I was conscious of, of funds. I said, "Look, come along. If there's something you want, we could do a trade, you know, kind of thing." And he said, "Look, I'll, I'll give them to you anyway." And he, he's an absolute ledge. I, I fucking feel so bad about forget his name. Um, but what, what we basically did, and Rob again helped me out here because he had one of these like strip things. The guy who wanted, he goes, Look, just have it. Because if you looked after Stu, I'll look after you. So that's what you want in the community, isn't it? So, anyway, the, the two boxes I've got, they're just boxes. I've got the games Tony Hawk skateboarding, a little bit of a ball bobble there, can iron that out, do a Daz iron. They've got the manuals, and this one's in great condition actually. NWO, do we super NWO Revenge? So I feel so, I should have fucking. Mm. Trying to rush the video, that's the problem. Cause everything's going fucking tits up. Jesus Christ, don't work with kids and animals. Me being the kid. Now I'm out of beer. This is, that's it, it's all gone, it's all gone to pot now. Right, let's get this done. From Rob. 
absolutely actually he sort of said um Stu, I've got, I've got, I know I've got a few bits you might be interested in because I know you collect the, the game gear. Oh, yeah, shit tons of stuff, man. So I was, I've got my little phone with my list on. And so I said, oh, I need that one, I need that one. He goes, just have them. I was like, what? You sure? He goes, yeah, just have them. So he's doing me an absolute solid here. Um, but hopefully, I've repaid it elsewhere, if that makes sense. Hit, Rob knows, so he's, he's quite comfortable with that. So, anyway, we've got Chessmaster. With the manual. So Rob had a lot three quid on that one. We've got uh, Super Space Invaders for the gear. We have five on that. And then this this not a game gear game because he mentioned this one uh, as we were driving up. Cause those we mentioned when we were there. This one he mentioned when we were driving up. I said, mate, I'd, be, I'd love to have that for you. Um, obviously funds permitting sort of thing. So I'll just have it. You know, we work some out. So and I didn't even look at this because we were that busy. I just, I just, he sort of said, I'll just take it. It's not until I've got back. Actually, I didn't even check it till this morning. Fucking hell, this is absolutely mint. Blew my, actually blew my fucking mind. Because I think I've got four. And I think the, the four I've got hasn't got the manual. But this is this is number um, number three. Breath of Fire 3 on the, on the PlayStation. Yeah, 25 on that. This is absolutely, even the crack, a small crack in a, a bit of everything counts, it's absolute fucking mint. Don't really look after me there. Um, so, but hopefully I've returned, I've, I've returned the favour in kind uh, via other means. Uh, what else was I going to say about Doncaster? Nice to see, and I always forget the guy's name, because I will say this as well, and we even, even said, on the guy whose name you don't even remember, I think it's Dave. I'm sure it was Dave, and he was there with Steve, Steve Benway. Steve Benway bought some off me. He did, he did. Sir Steve of the Benway, <laughs> the ledge. Uh, he bought a plug and play, which is the Capcom one. Which actually, when I bought it, I think, you know, uh, from, from the boot out, and I got it back, because he said to me, well, what games are on it? So I definitely know Commandos on there, and I think there's a shooter and some out. Yeah, I couldn't remember, because that, like, fucking batted backwards and forwards. Um, so oh, this this will get a video. So hopefully, Steve, I'm <laughs> sure I know it works. I'm testing it, uh, but hopefully you like it. I'm sure Commando's on there. I'm sure it's on there. But great to see Steve because I only ever used to usually see Steve at um, some of the expos. Uh, right, lastly and not leastly, I've saved the best till last. Twenty minutes to go. Um, Again, I don't really know this guy. He had a stall there. He was stalling out. So, because me and uh, Rob and me got there quite relatively early, we managed to get it set up. Uh, okay. Rich King Retro, I think he, he was knocking at the door. Uh, he was only around the corner anyway because he stayed over. Uh, so, we had, had a bit, bit chance of a, of a mooch around. I think Rob was very like, oh, I'm not going to spend anything. I, 100%. You know, <laughs> Do I wish I'd done that? Maybe not because I wouldn't have found this game. Um, and this is a fucking hard one to find. Yeah, I don't even think there's many on eBay. If there is any on eBay, I don't think there's many. And the guy said, the guy who who, who bought this off, it was again an absolute fucking diamond. Because I said, look, oh, it's a bit cheeky. Because the price on it, and I looked at the manual. The manual's a little bit creased. And I'll do it for thirty-five. So I asked Chris, can I be a bit cheeky? And <laughs> I get 35 pounds and I pay you it. He's like, yeah, that's not a problem. I thought, oh mate, absolute fucking ledge. So for 35 quid, he's, I've got me. I say, all it needs is, is a new, yet again, I don't mind, it's a plastic case, a satin game. And it is uh, Midway Arcade Greatest Hits Volume 1. I don't think it's never, there was never a Volume 2. But this is fucking hard to find. So I thought it'd be like the PlayStation ones and that. So the, the say the downer to it is the manual's a bit creased. But you know what? I I don't I don't mind. This could do with maybe a little bit of a buffering, but again, I mean he knocked a five off straight off the bat, and then allowed me to obviously pay him when when I, when I got a, a couple of quid, um, but it quieted down a little bit. So yeah, all in all, you know, not a bad day. Could have been better. Historically, it has been better, but I think given the time of the year, you know, if you weigh it all up, 
it weren't bad, it weren't a bad day. I don't know how the guys got on, I think some people got some nice bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, you know, it's Doncaster, it's always, um, you know, it's always going to have a, a, a sort of special um, sort of following, I think. Because, say, the first one, which was done by Retro Collect, was really fucking, really busy. But I think that because they only did one once a year, I think that was trying to do three a year, I think it's going to... It's going to water it down too much, but hey ho, you know, we plow on. So many thanks to anybody that bought anything. I'm not going to try and remember people's names because I, I, I will forget people. So I've hardly been up since four o'clock every single day. So many thanks to all those that bought. Some many thanks to those that said hello. There's, there's a couple of lads um, that are doing some game in York thing. I can't remember some arcade in York or something. Um, Retro Collector, was it Retro Collector, little guy, he was, he was really little, actually I was surprised how small he was, him and his missus, nice to see them, um, um, uh, Michael Ormond from Galaxy Sega, nice to see, uh, I said there's loads, there's loads, so I had a good, good chin mag with, I don't know what the guy's name is, some stupid, but he, he was working with uh, Chris in the corner, retro Chris in the corner. Uh, so great to meet him. We had the, uh, had the right old gaff and giggle. I'm done. I need to go and get another beer, chill out, and watch some football. See you later. Bye bye.